As part of our ongoing commitment to sustainable development, the company is forming a series of partnerships with organizations involved in environmental and biodiversity research. For Rio Tinto, this is both an ethical issue and good business sense. The business case is very clear. Uh, it is about our future. What I mean by that is, our future is predicated on access to land in different parts of the world. Our capacity to access that land depends on our reputation as a corporation. The next community at the next site is going to close the door on us if we're not regarded as an honourable company. One of our current partnerships is with the Australian Museum based in Sydney. The museum is one of Australia's most important cultural and scientific bodies, with a collection of around 13 million specimens. Traditionally we have worked more with other government agencies that look after places like national parks. Um, but increasingly we're interested in private landowners, mining companies typically are very large landowners, particularly in northwestern Australia where the mining leases are huge. As part of the project, Rio Tinto has granted the museum access to land on our Pilbara mining lease. The Pilbara is a remote region about which relatively little is known. The relationship with Rio Tinto has allowed us to get to places like, like out here in the Pilbara that really we, we never would have been able to. Um, we're discovering all sorts of new species, we're discovering a new way of working with industry, and it's been a marvellous relationship. As well as collecting specimens, the museum is also interested in collating all the biodiversity data housed in the museum and elsewhere in Australia. Their aim is to make this information available to anybody involved in land management decisions. That's where the Biomaps project comes in. Biomaps, as I see it, is a tool for releasing the information that the museum has in its collections. We can get that information into computer systems and using the power of geographic information systems, or GIS, we can produce maps of Australia or parts of Australia and overlay those maps with other things that are really influence land use management. As well as creating a database that can inform Australia's own decisions on land conservation, we will also be able to access the biomaps as part of our own rehabilitation programs. My perspective is that Rio has become a lot more conscious of its, uh, its responsibilities as a major landowner as well as a major mining company and is much more focused on how it can be a good custodian of its lands. I think the whole concept of where we're moving partnerships to is exceptionally exciting because we've, one, really broken some old paradigms on how a extractive industry company works with society. You know, I like to think of it, we're getting to the stage where it's looking at resource development in collaboration with society. I think that's the ultimate end goal. That, I think that's the ultimate expression of sustainable development. Three different sorts, so we've got the spiny... Our involvement with the Australian Museum is just one of the many areas of interest in Rio Tinto's partnership schemes. <laughs> Other projects, including water management and community health, will be included as we extend the partnership model over the coming years.